Who you say was the greatest? You won't stop talking shit. I'm asking listen. you a question. Allah. 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 Is Allah in the Bible? Let me ask you a question. No, yes or no? Oh, 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 oh. Yes or no? Let me ask you a question. Yes or no? Let's go back. Then listen, because you're trying to tell us anything, but Why you don't not? have any proof. We got proof right here. I can go get my phone. I can show listen. you everything right you've seen. Guess what? You wanna, let's see if... Oh, I can okay. go home and get books. Let's see. Let's see. <laughs> let's see this proof before you speak. <laughs> hey, have you been teaching anywhere? Yes. Like, where you been teaching them? Every day. Where? I understand your books. I'm asking you where. I do it in my community. Okay, we're in the community right now. Right so, now. so, so, guess what? If we're you was out books. teaching in the community, you would want them to show you respect while you're teaching, right? So show the same respect. Read. King James Version. When Elizabeth died in 1603, the crown passed to James I, who had been king of Scotland for 37 years as James IV. Several, several months after he ascended the throne of, of England, he authorized a new translation. He did what? He authorized a new translation. He authorized. He didn't write. He authorized oh, he a new know. translation. He, he of the right. Bible to replace the Bishop's Bible. Because what was going on at the time was you had all these Edomites coming up with different versions of the Bible. That's what I just hey, told you. Mistranslating the Bible. That's what I Create, just told you. Putting, okay. the thing, uh, putting like the words God in there like That's what I just told you. But see, King they James didn't do that. They didn't know he understand didn't. that. They took words and they changed it. I just 47 of the best Hebrew and Greek scholars. He got 47 of the best Hebrew and Greek scholars. Yes, he did. Not so understand this. Yes, he, he got the no, 47 no, no, no. of the best of the Hebrew and Greek scholars yes, to do did. what? To translate the Bible from the Hebrew and Greek into what? English. Yes, English. That's what he did. Right. They took so let me ask you. Hold on. Hold on. Read. They took of the day were divided listen, into six brother, groups. You still ain't listening. You still talking. You didn't know about that. Read. I just told Paul. It's of the divided. day were divided into six groups. They were divided into what? Six groups. Three. Three for the Old Testament. They were divided into six groups. Listen up, brother. Three for the Old Testament. Two for the New. Two for the New. And one for the Apocrypha. And one for the what? Apocrypha. You know about the Apocrypha? You do? Let me ask you something. Since you know so much about the Bible, right? Let me ask you something. Why aren't you keeping the commandments of God? Because we all are flawed. We was born. Now I'm asking Bro, you why on. you ain't keeping. I, that's, that's I ain't asking you if you listen, flawed or not. See, my personal I'm question. Oh, see, that's, I answered your question. You know, I didn't answer the question the way you wanted to. I'm asking you something but very simple. I'm asking you, I ask I'm you, asking you something very simple. Because we, very simple. Because I am man. Let me, let me do right. He created. And he knew we were gonna be flawed. Let me, let me show you something. most greatest and most precious. Brother, you believe in God? Creation. Do you believe in God? Do you believe in God? You get you. I'm yes. asking you. Do you believe in God? Allah is the greatest. Watch this. You, you, said, you, you said who's the greatest? Get you a first edition. You said who's the greatest? I'm gonna tell you. I know what I heard him say. I'm just waiting on you. Get you a first edition. I'm just waiting on you. Hey brother, I'm right here. Brother, I'm right here. Who you say was the greatest? You won't stop talking. I'm asking you a question. Allah, Allah, Allah in the Bible. Let me ask you a question. No, yes oh, or no? Oh, 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 yes or no? Oh, oh. Let me ask you a question. Yes or no? Let's go back. It's yes or no? Which one came first? The Arabic or the Greek? Deuteronomy chapter 4, Which verse 5. Behold, I have taught you oh, statutes and judgments. See, God taught us statutes and judgments. Read. Oh, Even oh, as the Lord hey, my God commanded me, uh -huh. back on board. that ye should do so in the land whether ye go to possess it. So let me ask you something. If God is going to teach you something, right? Are you going to listen? Yo, are you gonna take it from him? Because why? He's the one. He's hey. He's the one that created everything on this earth. So you ain't gonna sit there and say something he taught you. Now, but hey, I ain't gonna do it because I'm flawed. You see what I'm saying? That's that's just idiotic. That's 
that's the that's 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 the simplicity of the black man. The black man said, God taught me something, but I'm flawed. I'm not going to do it. But yet, I got wisdom. Let's see what God gave us for wisdom. Read. Verse 6. Keep their four and do them. He said these laws, these statutes, commandments. Hey, I gave them for you. He said, keep them for and do them. Read. For this is your wisdom. This is your what? This is your wisdom. How are you going to get wisdom if you don't do the things he say? Bring it out. You understand? He gave us laws, statutes, commandments for our wisdom, but yet we got the simple Negro who going to say he got wisdom by not doing it. That don't make no sense. Let me tell you what happens to the simple Negro when he don't follow God's laws, statutes, commandments. Give me Hosea 4 and 6. I'm going to show you what happened to the, the simple Negro that forgets God's laws because that's what happened to all of them. That's why we're at the bottom. That's why we're catching hell all over this earth. Right. That's why we've got somebody who will come up against men that's well learned, teaching the Bible, and think you're going to know something without any proof. Right. Read Hosea chapter 4 verse 6. My people are destroyed for a lack of knowledge. He said my people are what? Are destroyed for lack of knowledge. Being in the ghettos at the bottom, that's being destroyed. Right. He said we destroyed for the lack of knowledge. Let's find out what that knowledge is. Hold that, give me Malachi 2 and 7. Let's find out what the knowledge is that we're destroyed from. Now remember what he said he's going to give us for our wisdom? The laws and commandments. He's going to make it even more simple. We know this Bible. We do, We live this Bible. Right. We don't sit there and talk. We don't sit there and run our mouth about something that we don't know. We go in the Bible and prove it. That's Read right. Malachi chapter 2 verse 7. For the priest's lips should keep knowledge. He said the priest's lips should keep knowledge. So let's find out what knowledge they should be keeping. Read. And they should seek the law at his mouth. They should seek the what? The law. That's the what? The law. They should seek the law from his mouth. Read. At his mouth. For he is the messenger of the Lord of hosts. So the true messenger of God are going to teach you the laws of God. Yes, Go right. back to Hosea 4 and 6. Hosea chapter 4 verse 6. You know? My people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. But a lack of not knowing God's laws. That's why we're destroyed. We're going against God. He gave us laws and commandments to follow. He said, this is your wisdom inside of the nation. But now we don't know God's laws. And now we're at the bottom destroyed. Right. Now we got a simple Negro who will come up against the men of the Lord who are teaching the law. Right. And think they know something. Read. Because thou hast rejected knowledge. What did a simple Negro do? Rejected knowledge. He said, I'm a flawed man. I ain't going to keep God's law. That's what a simple Negro would do. Instead of sitting there saying, I love God, I'm going to follow and do what God said. The simple Negro will go against God every single time. He'll go against the men of God who are teaching our people the laws to raise our people back up from the state of the being at the bottom. That's why we out here, to, to bring our people back up to the greatness that they're meant to be. Read, because thou rejected knowledge, I will also reject thee. You know how we re reject it? Just right here. You see this? This is how we reject it. Do you know that this is in the Bible? Do you know that our slavery is in the Bible? Because why? Go that. Give me that Deuteronomy 20. I'm going to show you why we was in this state. Why we catching hell right now. Deuteronomy, sorry for the rest of your teaching. Yes, sir. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 15. But it shall come to pass, if thou will not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God, uh -huh. to observe, to do all his commandments. He said, if you don't do all these commandments, all these laws, Read. And his statutes, which I command thee this day, uh -huh. there are these curses. All these what? Curses. All these what? Curses. Uh huh. Shall come upon thee and overtake thee. Brother Matthew, is a curse a good thing or a bad thing? A curse? Yes. It's a bad thing for us. It's a bad thing. Hey, what's your name? My name is Lamar. Hey, Lamar, my name is Officer Be Wonderful. Nice to meet you, bro. Hey, I'm trying so, to get one of them suits right there. So God so said, tell them I was in Baltimore. Uh -huh. They, man, I listen to the brothers all the time, man. It's just that I was young and dumb, and they had so many rules. I didn't want to go by the rules. I said, well, run the streets with women. And they had sex, so I'm done. Right. Yeah. 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 So now, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm starting to realize a lot of stuff. I'm looking at this, what y'all saying. Right. Let's think about it. God 
God put these things in place. He said, we don't follow his commandments. He said, I'm going to do what? Send curses on you. So that's just like anything, you know what? There's going to be uh, repercussions for going against something that's wrong. How did we fall as a people if we was in rulership? This is the reason why we failed. We had again, there are all these curses. Stuck on yes, sir. But it shall come to pass. I mean, if, if this will happen, Read. If thou will not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. Think about that. We didn't want to hearken to God, let alone some man. We didn't want to hearken to God. Our people had just seen God part the Red Sea. They had seen him bring all the plagues upon Egypt. He delivered us from slavery. Now he's given us laws, commandments to rule the earth. And our people still was like, you know what? I don't want to listen. I don't want to follow. I was just about to ask you a question. What's that? How do we get everybody to listen to you? I was just about you ain't going to get you. everybody. Yeah, That's the point. Answer, Guess what? You got to do it. One man at a time. You, you know see what, what I'm saying? I'm going to do it, brother. Watch it. Please read I got to take this food to somebody. Man. To observe. Before you can sit there and take it to somebody, you know what you first got to do? Be the example. Because right now, if you ain't keeping the laws and commandments, First of all, remember, what do we supposed to teach? The laws and commandments. So guess what? Do you know the laws and commandments? I don't know all of them. So you have, to, you have to come in and learn, right? right and third, guess what? That's a process of time. We just didn't come out the streets last week and then come out here and teach this week. So it's a process of time. We have to study these things. We have to apply these laws and commandments to our life. Get our households in order. Then we go out and teach the people. So first thing you gotta do is do what you're doing today. Is hear the word of God. Hear the word of God and then start applying it to your life. So first us understand why we're in these conditions. Finish that verse up. To observe, to do all his commandments uh -huh. and his statutes, which I command thee this day. Read. That all these curses. All these what? Curses. Read. Shall come upon thee and overtake thee. Go to verse two, uh, 68. So he said, I'm going to send curses upon our people. You understand? So we're going to get the main curse to identify who the blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans are. That we are the children of Israel. Hey brother, have you ever heard that you're a child of God, that you are the children of Israel? You know you're an Israelite? You very familiar? You Israelite know why we nation. came in this condition? Why we came over here in America? So indeed. Why we came? Why did we come? Yes. We came because of economical things. No, the European we, wanted. I'm gonna show you why. The European wanted nah, these economics. That ain't the reason. Stay right here, bro. Stay right here. Read that verse again. Watch this. I'm going to show you the reason why. Read that verse again. We're going to give you one of the curses God put on us for not keeping his law. Read. Verse 15. But it shall come to pass uh -huh. if thou will not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God to observe to do all his commandments and his statutes which I command thee this day. That all these curses. All these what? Curses. Shall come upon thee and overtake thee. So God said, I'm going to send curses on you if you don't keep my law, statute, and commandments. Go to verse 68. We're going to get to the main curse that God put on our people. Read. Verse 68. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt. The word Egypt means bondage. Because the children of Israel were in Egypt serving what? Slavery, right? So he said, I'm going to bring you back into Egypt or back into bondage. Read. Again with ships. With what? With Ships. How did we get over here? Exactly. Cargo slave ships. That's our history. This ain't causing no economics. It's because we didn't keep the laws of God. Read. Right. By the way, wherever I spake unto thee, uh -huh. thou shalt see it no more again. He said we wouldn't see our homeland again. What's our homeland? Let's get, no, no. Let's get I thought Africa was our homeland. Guess what? But what part of Africa? Africa is a continent made up of many different oh, countries. We're gonna get it. We're gonna let listen. The Bible gives you an answer to any question that you could possibly ask. Watch it. Read. Yes. Galatians chapter 4, verse 26. But Jerusalem. But what? Jerusalem. Uh-huh. Which is above is free. Uh-huh. Which is the mother of us all. Jerusalem is the what? The mother of us all. That's the motherland for the Israelites. Jerusalem. That's where we come from. Go back to Deuteronomy 28, 68. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 68. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt into again. Into slavery again. With ship. Read. 
by the white whereof I spake unto thee. Uh-huh. Thou shalt see it no more again. We wouldn't see our homeland no more. Read. And there, there, ye, right here in America, ye shall be sold unto your enemy. We'll be sold to who? Your enemy. What is the white man? Mm. What is the white man? Mm. I, I don't say it Now say it again for him. Your enemy. The white man is your enemy. The right. white man is your enemy. Right. Guess what? For you to be a child of God, for you to be a servant of God, First thing first, you're going to have to get over that fear of saying who your enemies is. You understand? You ain't at the work. You right here amongst your brothers. So guess what? We'll be brave enough for you. The white man is the damn devil that the Bible speaks of. The white man is the enemy. I'm walking right back across, man. I just got to take some of somebody. All right, come on back. Free. And there you shall be sold unto your enemy. Uh-huh. For bond men. For who? Bond men. Bond men, slave men, and bond women, and slave women, read. And no man shall buy you. Nobody's gonna be able to redeem you out of that captivity. That's what, so we wasn't brought over here for economic reasons. We was brought over here because God brought our enemies upon us. Right. Give me verse 48. God did these things because why? We rejected his word. We don't got time to hear God's word. We don't got time to do what God said. All you have to do is look around you and ask yourself, where has People come to our people with the solution to get our people out of slavery, right. to get our people out of the bottom, out of the ghettos. And guess what? Look what our people do. They ain't got time. All they want to do is get their cigarillos, get their beer, get their liquor, and bounce. Right. They don't want to hear the solution to come out of their condition. Read. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 48. Therefore, Shall they serve thine enemy? So now you got to serve your enemies. Read. Which the Lord shall sin against thee. Who sent, who sent the enemies the against The Lord thee? shall sin against thee. So the Lord sent the enemy. He sent the white man against us. Read. In hunger. So now you got to go to them for what? For food. For the very things that you need to eat for a living. Guess what? You got to go to them for it. Because we don't own any other farm industry. We don't own we don't control none of that. Right. We have to go to the stores and get what? Our food, right? Read. And in thirst. Very water. They control that. You don't pay the water bill, what happens? They turn it off. You want water to drink? Where well, you got to go? To your enemies. Right. Read. And in nakedness. Uh, and very clothes on your back. You got to go to them. But we don't own none of the textile industry. Oh, no, I get you, sir. you see what I'm saying? We don't own any of those things. We got a look. We can have we can have Sean John name on it, but guess who makes it? Right. You understand? Oh, I gotta go, man. Read. God keeping you here. Read. And and in the one of all things. In the one of all things. So hey, you want an education? You gotta go to your enemy. You want a car? You gotta go to your enemy. You want a license to drive that car? You gotta go to your enemy. You want a toothbrush to brush your teeth? You gotta go to the enemies. You gotta go to your enemies in the one of all things. Why? Because we rejected God's laws. Read. And he shall put a yoke of iron He'll upon do what? thy neck. He'll put a, a yoke of what? Of iron upon thy neck. When did this happen to anybody else? This happened to the so-called blacks, the Spanish, and Native Americans. Right. We had yokes of iron around our neck. Read. Until he have destroyed thee. Until you don't know that you're an Israelite. Until you don't know that you've been serving a white Jesus, a white God. That you've been serving, what? Watch it. Did you keep Christmas? Yeah. yeah. Did you keep it? You were serving a white God. You know what I'm saying? Watch this. What's your last name? I want a white last name. You got a white man's last name. You got to, got to go serve the white man. The white man gave you this. Dave, before you knew anything, we called this man Jesus. Did we not? Did yes, we, we not did. have this in our house? Yes, we did. So all these black My families were serving a anymore. white God, a white Jesus, serving a white man's holy days. We wasn't serving anything that the Bible said follow. We didn't serve anything that God commanded. We was always serving white God. We Now God is asking us to do what? Return back to him. Right. To repent and come back to him. You got to start learning how to follow God correctly. Right. You understand? We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission.
Minor murmuring, omitting and missing the mark Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark We on Paul's mission We out on the road Purple and gold From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana Sierra Leone 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling These are how our men repented at heart The scriptures is proof IUIC, we deliver the truth.